Um, I'm going to do this. This is... This is... Eric and Gord, what if we're right? Live, right now. Are you ready? Find, find and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Do this. this is Eric and Gord. What if we're right? Listen to the world changing. Well, hi there. That's a lot of intro. Happy Monday. It's, of course, April 20th, 2020, and I'm Eric talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where if you don't understand the rules by now, then I truly hope you and your entire family get the COVID-19 and then we later find out that COVID-19 causes AIDS and you all die from AIDS. <laughs> yes. That is <laughs> what I hope. Um, oh, that's beautiful. If you're offended by that, then you probably have AIDS. Um, hey, Gordon. <laughs> we don't care about you. <laughs> Hi, Eric. How's How you doing, buddy? It is like summery here. It's like 19 degrees. It's craziness. I'm... It was minus three this morning and then went up to almost the double digits today. So uh, See, that's it's very the... strange. I fucking hate carrying a jacket. I can't stand it. And these days are the worst for me when it's like it's too cold in the morning to not wear a jacket. But then in the afternoon, you're just fucking sweating your balls off. Yeah, no, it. there's no denying. See, this is one of the things. This is why I hate the summer because I live for carrying shit in my pockets. And in the summer, you don't want big bulky shit, so I can't wear a fucking jacket. In the summer, it sucks. Apparently, wearing cargo pants is like not allowed for some fashion bullshit reason. And I fucking love cargo pants, so it. I, I fucking hate the summer. I so, hate it. Fuck you, summer. <laughs> I have to give a quick shout out to because I do this. This is what I do, and I promised people I would. Yeah, fuck you, Summer. Um, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Serena Sabala. She has a website. It's wholeshiftwellness.com. And if you're a busy executive type or you're just busy in general and you think you might be a little bit out of shape, wholeshiftwellness.com has a whole bunch of quick, easy programs to make you less of a fat bastard. Even during this... um, COVID-19 self-isolating business. They've got a Facebook group you can go join and all kinds of awesome fitness tips for you there. So Serena Sabala, wholeshiftwellness.com. Lovely lady. Really enjoy talking to her. Um, and I got to do one more real quick because we got an email from him. I forwarded it to you, Gord. This is our good friend, Dr. Benjamin Harvey. One of the most enjoyable interviews of the year by far. He's got a new book coming out called Personality Isn't Permanent. It comes out June 16th. It's an amazing book. I have advanced copies. If you would like one for free, you can reach out to Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. Tell me you want uh, personality isn't permanent, and I will get one out to you. Also, I've got a message for podcasters. Uh, ben Harvey, New York Times bestselling author, is looking to be a guest on your show. Um, Gordon, I can tell you, he's a great interview. He's a lot of fun. He's super smart. Really good to talk to, and uh, you can get in touch with him. I will put a link on our website, because I don't remember how. So go to www.ericandgord.live, and I'll give you a link to uh, have Dr. Ben Harvey on your podcast, because he was great on ours. There we go. That's enough Definitely crap. Definitely was. Let's get on with a goddamn show. <laughs> I can't find us on the live shows. I don't know if we're there. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Nobody listens live anyway. Yeah, so fuck that. Anyway, um, what did I want to talk about today? What a day! What a fucking! I I went outside today. It seems like a lot of people are out and about. People are starting to figure out that how to live life and social distance. I guess, which is pleasing for yeah. me. Yeah, makes me happy that that's a thing that's happening. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what you witness in front of you or what you listen to on the news. <laughs> oh, no. Do not listen on the news whatsoever. But just follow the rules and try to be smart about it. 
and uh, we can get try. We can all, we can all have a uh, moderately decent time with this thing. Uh, and that's my advice. Follow the rules. Mm-hmm. I want this to end. I'll tell it, you. it doesn't end until we all follow the rules. Some meathead just went back to a camp up in the northern Alberta and took it up there. Now they're all sick. Now everyone in BC is getting blamed for it. Stop doing shit mm-hmm. like that. You know, and, and here's the thing, guys. Think about it this way. You got a bunch of single people out there. Do you know how fucking difficult it is to date when you can't meet the person? Oh, God. You're just like, come talking on. about you. Of course I'm talking about me. I'm selfish. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. What, what am I going to say? <laughs> I Busted. Love I love it. Um, yeah, no, it's got to be incredible. Yeah, well, it's frustrating for a lot of people. I don't, as soon as this fucking COVID thing started, the girl I was dating via the telephone was fucking just gone. I don't know what the hell. I don't know if she got it and died or what the fuck went out. And <laughs> she just, maybe she thought social, social distancing meant no, no phone calls. It's they not the, through the phone and you'll get it. <laughs> it's not the first time she stopped talking to me. Uh, far from it, actually. It probably won't be the last. So I'm not like. <laughs> Seems I'm not to be your thing. Crying myself to sleep yet, but it sucks because I just <laughs> finally got ID to cross the border for her because she's in America. And that was like half my reason for coming to Kelowna is to get my shit together so I could go see her in America. And then she just fucking whatever. She pissed off. So I don't know. She won't tell me if I did something wrong. I had better not be because of the podcast, because then I'd have to tell her to fucking pound salt, and that sucks. <laughs> Here's the thing. Pound Every, salt. I've always loved that line. People who know me, um, if you don't like the podcast, I'm very, very sorry. Please stop listening to it. My listeners, my 10,000 plus listeners in 14 countries around the world. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. You're the greatest thing that ever happened in my life next to the birth of my daughter. And everyone, if you don't like it, don't listen. There's a million podcasts. Go find one you like and leave me the fuck alone. There. That's my public service announcement. Fuck you, Um, bitch. Because people are are like I told you that my aunt uh, flipped over the email address. Um, cause she just doesn't understand vaginas. <laughs> uh, it's a candle from her vagina. That's why we did it. It's not like that dirty thing. The The woman makes dirty candles. What are you going to do? All right. I'm going to quit bitching now. Um, thanks for listening. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, our listenership coronavirus has not been good to podcasts. So we are way, way down. I don't blame anyone. I don't certainly don't blame you guys. We're, we're popping up in weird new countries, which is cool. Uh, I find us in Israel and, uh, I like that we're, we're, I want to say hello to our uh, Northern European listeners because we are in Bosnia and Croatia. And I think that's pretty crazy that we're like bridging that gap. Like, that they both like us. Like, that was one of, like, the worst wars of the 90s. And and they both can agree on Eric and Gord. That's that's a nice thing. That is pretty cool. Um, so stick around and vote for us in 2023. Uh, you guys will be pleased with the results. Anyway, I thought that was really neat. That, that caught my eye last night after we podcasted, or the night before, I mean. And I just thought that was really funny. Because, like, like, I've got a lot of friends from Bosnia. Or Serbia, I guess. I mean, Bosnian Serbs. Yeah, Serbia and Croatia. That's what I mean to say. I don't. Um, I have <laughs> I have a lot of friends from that area. Just oddly enough, I don't know. They they the the Serbs flock to me. I'm... <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like it's a nasty fucking war. It was brutal. I had friends in high school that came from that war, like fled from it in the eleventh grade, and then went to my high school, and it was weird. Because we have no concept of anything like that. We have, we've never had no. to. We've never had to flee our country. Ever, like that's not just a like these kids. Grade eleven dude, like my friend Ned, wicked dude. Hi Ned in Edmonton. I hope you're the one in Edmonton who's listening to me. That would fucking just be the jelly to my peanut butter. 
Um, Ned, had, like in grade 11, fled his country and in fear of, because communism fell and then there's the war and he had to leave Yugoslavia in war. I'm just like, fuck, I have no concept of what that feels like. Well, I, I never will. I will never, ever experience that. Because I'm Canadian. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's, uh, it must be really weird. He used to like ride his skateboard on old bombed out ruins and shit. Like, really? Oh yeah. And he had to, because he was under communist rule, he had to skateboard to Hungary to buy Nirvana albums. Oh my God. Cause he couldn't get them in uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, so he would skateboard to Hungary and buy bootleg fucking copies of like Nevermind and shit. I've Wild. never. I can't. I just communism. Cool. I can't understand like living like that. It would. I. I would like to go to one of these countries and see what it's like. Like just. I can't imagine not being able to just listen to Nirvana. Like that's just a. a they just don't have it. It's illegal. That's, oh, what? Sounds like a dream to me. Oh well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but well, see then. But they can't listen to fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan either. So they're. I oh, do. that's hot. That's hot. That's heartbreaking. I don't know that that's true. <laughs> I don't know Everybody that that's listen. true. I just wanted you to feel my pain. <laughs> well, that well, good relation that that worked. <laughs> um, hey, people! If you're from a weird country with stupid rules, send us an email. Gwyneth Peltzer's vagina, vagina at gmail.com. Gwyneth Peltzer's vagina at gmail.com. You'll get a pen and a postcard if you tell me about your screwy country and their fucked up laws. <laughs> Oh, I have to tell you something, Eric, you. about our show. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then we will be... I got, <laughs> yeah. I got messaged uh, from uh, a friend of mine uh, through through uh, Facebook. Um, uh, hey, Steve. What's up, brother? Um, hey, he Steve. was listening to our show. Thank you, Steve. Um, he, mess- he messaged me today. Uh, this is like this afternoon when he messaged me. Um, he was um, listening to... Um, it was an older episode where me and you, one of our, we got into like one of the arguments oh. and he said, oh, oh my God, he goes, you guys need to fight more often. That was so much fun. <laughs> Mike, well, you should have heard the last one. <laughs> well, so we got right into it last Steve. time. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last one took me a little while to post. That was the one where we decided not to go live and then I slipped right back into my old habits and I didn't post it till 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> thank you Steve for listening hey Steve if you get in touch with either Gord or myself and uh, let me know a mailing address I will send you the coveted Eric and Gord pen and an autograph postcard with my autograph Man. and a fake Gord autograph <laughs> Just you're what you're left handed right I am so sign it with your right hand. It'd just be funnier that way. I absolutely <laughs> intend to, and it's not going to look anything like your signature. Oh, I just did it. It looks fantastic. I'll send you my, your signature. Uh, let you okay. know what it looks like. Uh, Steve, <laughs> get in touch with me or Gord via email, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. Hashtag easiest thing in the world. I don't care. Get in touch with us, and you get a pen and a postcard. And thank you for listening, Steve. You're my favorite yeah. guy named Steve, and my best friend Steve better not hear that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's just funny because it's true. So, right. <laughs> what's going on in the world? Oh yeah, I had uh, the fucking thing I'm babbling about. Uh, four twenty today. I don't think anybody gives huh? a shit because what you're not gathering this year, fuckers. Um, Joe Rogan had an appearance booked in Vancouver. I'm pretty sure he was coming there to fight me. And he was using this appearance as a uh, just a an excuse to get out there and fight me. Uh, I think you're right, and I'm not there. So sorry, Joe. Um, missed out. I don't know if you're there. I'm sure you're not going to Rogers Arena tonight to do your comedy. I don't think. Nope. I don't know. That's all canceled. Um, but I'm sorry it didn't work out. But I wasn't going to be there anyway. But now I'm sad about that because my whole plan was to go to Vancouver and fight him. Um, but this COVID thing has spared Joe Rogan on this 420, the my most hated day of the year. So I COVID, love the fact that you I think that you think you could beat him up in a fight. That's amazing. I think <laughs> it would be a fight that would occur. <sighs> yeah, it would it would be epically awesome, and it would be very fast. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I'm not saying who would win, but I you are right on the money. 
<laughs> It'd be like sex with Eric very, very quick. Very quick. <laughs> and-